So we specialize in performance horse products. A large majority of a horse's diet, or should be the majority of a horse's diet, it comes from hay. Uh, one of the best hays for a horse is alfalfa. Alfalfa, especially for performance horses, is one of the most nutritionally um, right in line with what they need as far as protein. Um, it is really good in performance horses. 90% of um, race horses, which we cater to, have ulcers. Um, alfalfa is known to help with ulcers. Um, so we specialize really heavily in horse quality alfalfa, which is a very big difference than a lot of people. Alfalfa in Oklahoma especially has a quality issue as far as it's hard to put up um, just with the um, aspect of all the rain. Um, it's hard to be able to cut it, let it lay in the field for several days, and then bale it um, without it getting rained on and sun bleached and things like that. So first off, from a quality standpoint with the rain, it's hard to put up. Also, nutritionally speaking, alfalfa is the highest nutrition when it has a small stem and a big leaf. All your nutrition is in the leaves. So when alfalfa gets to a point in its maturity where the stem gets real big, um, horses don't want to eat it. Um, and it's also not very nutritionally, um, bound, or it's not as nutritious, I guess you could say, which is also another quality concern. Secondly, as, apart from quality, alfalfa in Oklahoma is also very, um, or can be dangerous um, because of blister beetles. Blister beetle is a beetle that is lethal to horses. It can kill a horse. Um, first off, a lot of people think that one beetle can kill a horse. That's not true. It takes, depending on the size of the beetle, anywhere from 20 to um, some beetles, you have to consume over 100 um, to actually be lethal for a horse. Now, it can, how it kills them is it blisters um, all the way down where it touches so um, and then on into the stomach and things like that and that's how it can kill them um, but also um, blister beetles why it's dangerous in alfalfa is blister beetles live in alfalfa fields for two reasons a they feed on um, blooms from the plant so when alfalfa is fully matured it has a purple flower at the top um, so one way that you can keep from getting blister beetles in your alfalfa fields is don't let your alfalfa bloom um, to a purple flower. Um, so we make sure and um, work with the farm that we source our alfalfa from in that. The other way uh, blister beetles, or the other reason why they're in alfalfa fields is they consume grasshopper larvae in their um, younger stage. So consuming grasshopper larvae is um, grasshoppers are only in fields in a certain window in the summer. Um, and also blister beetles life cycle is only short-lived in the summer. So um, a blister beetle is not um, able to be in an alfalfa field for only a short life cycle. So we cut before that life cycle and then we cut alfalfa after that life cycle. So there's m multiple reasons why our Oklahoma alfalfa is okay, but there's some people that don't really care and they want alfalfa that is from a higher elevation state um, like Arizona or Colorado out of state. Typically, there's a way lower chance of blister beetles being in Arizona, California, Colorado. Um, so we ship in three-strand alfalfa, which is very common in those states. They're like a 100-pound bale. They're shipped in. Being out of state, they can cut year-round, so they're able to be more um, picky as far as the quality goes. They're able to be more picky as far as quality goes, and there's no chance of blister beetles, so they can cut year-round um, or all season, harvest season. Um, so that's why we source alfalfa from out of state. This alfalfa is usually higher quality, um, again, because they can be less picky. Also, there's no blister beetle concern. Um, the only difference is sometimes it's a little bit more pricey um, because you're having to pay for freight um, from Arizona or California, wherever it comes from. So um, that's what we specialize in is horse quality alfalfa. We've got several different sizes. We've got stuff that's from Oklahoma. We've got stuff from out of state and things like that. So we specialize in horse quality alfalfa.